Hey guys, welcome back to Amnesty Now World. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss the next video. So today, this is the look we're going to be creating. It's a nice YSL with a scully mask. So you're going to start off with prepping the nail bed, pushing back the cuticles, making sure you remove all the natural oils and the natural shine. Apply your tips and file and shape them so this will be another watch me work video and then i'll chime in at the end of the video just so that you guys can understand how i created the ysl dripping logos All the eyes on me.
So I'm going in and starting off with showing you guys how I do the one bead method. I pick up a bead, making sure that it's medium to wet consistency. I place it back at the cuticle area and slowly float it down. The reason why I float that bead is so that it can already start to form its own apex. I focus more on the sides and not the middle of the nail because I wanted to go ahead and start hardening up and everything. I want to make sure that I press down on the cuticles with the toe of the brush and smooth everything out and that's how I do the one bead. I'll do it in slow motion for you guys on another day when we actually focus on applying acrylic. And for the rest of the nails, I'm, I just randomly go in, do one bead sometimes, two bead, three bead. It's just really how I feel the nails should be leveled out and how the foundation should look. But I always make sure that before I move on from a nail, it looks like it's already been filed. So you wanna make sure that you're blending your beads really, really well with the belly of your brush.
For the first time to do a ski mask or a scully with a girl's face in it for the first time i started with a black base and then i went in with my cristrio diamond gloss i believe this is color 52 but i did not need a white base underneath it so i'm just like making the shapes of eye cutouts and so that they're not like perfectly round and then it can look like somebody tore the mask open or cut it open that's why it's like not perfectly round so I do two of those and then you do the bottom part just kind of like a oval but make sure that it's not perfectly round and then we're gonna go in with some white after we cure each color though so that the colors don't bleed together you're gonna cure them in the lamp either flash cure it for a few seconds or the full 60 seconds and then you're gonna go in with the white outlining just like some small round ovals you're gonna cure that and then you're gonna go uh you're gonna go in and trace around the white with black and then you can just draw on some eyelashes and the pupils of the eye and for the mouth like i gotta get y'all a whole video on mouth because my mouth was trash on this nail and i don't even want to I don't want to set myself up for failure. You got me falling. Did you know that? I want to hear you say, oh, you got me falling. Did you know that? Without you, I'll fade away.
on this nail, I already applied some foil glue, some holographic silver foil, and then I'm just going to go over that and place down some Swarovski crystals. I believe I used, for the really big ones, they're 22 SS, the small ones are 5 SS. I used some 8s, I used some 10s. It was just like a mixture of all of them so that it could look like a cascading effect of crystals falling down the nail. So here's the nail that you all been waiting for. I hope so. The YSL one. So to create any kind of design that I've never done before or just like mimicking a logo, I just go onto Google and type in what I'm trying to do. So I typed in YSL logo and I enlarged it on either a phone or you can do it on a computer a tablet or something just so you can see the small details on it and you want to zoom into it as close as you can I started going downward first and then I drew the line across you want to start with small lines and then build up instead of drawing really really thick lines and having to erase with alcohol or acetone or whatever you choose to clean up with so with this nail it probably took me about eight minutes just to do the ysl logo took me really really a short time short amount of time to do the full set but art when you're being really detailed you want to take your time and you want to do it right maybe when i do some more ysls i probably do it in two three minutes but you want to take your time do it right and the more time you put into your artwork it actually shows like in the final results so i'm showing you guys at normal pace this whole video is at normal speed i did not speed up or what is it like you put the speed on i didn't speed anything up so this is the normal pace for the full video of how i apply acrylic and do designs and art so you guys can just like pause and play, pause and play so that you can practice this design. Once you know how to do one or two logos, you are going to be a beast because everything is the same. You literally go step by step, stripe by stripe. You want to use a thin, thin striping brush as thin as you can get it. And you're going to build up after that. And then also when you're doing line work, the pressure that you apply with a brush can also determine how thick that line is going to be so if you're applying a lot of pressure that line is going to be thick 
if you're only using the tip of the brush and you're using light strokes that line's going to be really really thin so for the s part you see i don't just do a big swirl you have to take your time do little little shapes here and there and then everything connects all together so when you're looking at the pictures of whatever you're trying to recreate don't look at something as a whole look at it piece by piece and then put all the pieces of the puzzle together to create the design that you're trying to do
I went ahead and top coated everything with my gloss top coat and matted out the other nails that needed to be matted out. I will show you guys when I do another logo how I like to leave the logo in a kind of like raised state but it's still matted out by shaking on some colored acrylic but I didn't do it to her set but I will show you guys how to do that. So this is how the final look came out. Um, I'm iffy about it. What do y'all think? Leave me your opinions down below in the comment section so I can know how y'all feeling about this look. I hadn't seen anybody do a YSL dripping, so we wanted to do one just because nobody else did it. So we was trying to be different, but I don't know. Is it a hit or miss? Let me know. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. And also... He was doing good. Come on! <laughs> Every time I get to this little spot... What you want to tell him to do? What you want to tell him to do? You don't have to rush everything. What's the last part? Come on. Make sure you follow me and Amnesty. You and Amnesty? Where y'all going? <laughs> Make sure y'all follow us in Facebook, Twitter, and... Uh-uh, I don't have Twitter, baby. Oh. He said... Daddy, you... Bye, y'all. <laughs>